Creating Global Stewards. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 318. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 318, April 28, 2019 edition. Today, what I want to talk about is creating global stewards. And if you're not familiar with One Community's mission, our mission is to bring together the people with the consciousness of the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global steward, as a pathway to global sustainability, which is creating global stewards. We're creating global stewards, but not just in that way. I mean, everything that you see happening in the background of this video right here is really the physical infrastructure aspect of one community. But there's also a food infrastructure aspect. There's a highest good energy aspect. There's a highest good economics aspect, a fulfilled living aspect, a highest good education aspect, as well as true or stewardship, which is really the overarching umbrella that encompasses everything that we're doing which is giving people the tools, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate everything that we're creating, including everything that you see happening in the background here, as either individual components, or as complete village models, or as the complete one community city model, putting everything together in one place so people can come and experience these villages, people can stay in these homes, and if they like what they see and like what they experience, they can take the blueprints with them and replicate them on their own. Again, as either the complete village or as individual components, as individual homes. And so through open sourcing and free sharing this, the way that we're creating global stewards is by providing people with what they need to demystify the process of living sustainably. And also providing a complete teacher demonstration hub model for those that want to really take on the, the adventure of stewardship of comprehensive holistic living and radical sustainability working together with us and our organization and other organizations around the world to create more and more open source tools, tutorials and resources and blueprints for all of the things that you see here and so much more. Covering all aspects of sustainable living, taking the physical foundations that I already mentioned, the food, the energy and housing, combining them with the emotional foundations which we've identified as the fulfilled living practices, the economic models, the stewardship practices and the education models, putting all those things together as an evolution of sustainability for creating global stewards. And in so doing, by replicating everything that we do, by open sourcing and free sharing everything that we do, we are making it such that we're making it easy for people that aren't even interested in stewardship, that aren't even interested necessarily in world change, but are interested in saving money. For people that are interested in perhaps uh, not living in an environment that has a lot of carcinogens and things that cause cancer in it. For people that are interested in having more free time and being able to have more control over their food, or for people that have, like to have more control over their building materials, or people that have, like to have more control over their education and their children's education, things like that. And so that's how we're open sourcing and free sharing everything you see here and so much more. And this is how we're creating global, global stewards. And for the people that just want to do it for themselves, we are 100% down with selfish philanthropy and selfish humanitarianism. Because if you're building sustainably and you're using our plans and you're building off of our plans, we see that as a huge step in the right direction. And so this is another way that we're creating global stewards. And then one of the biggest parts about this is our education program, which once again, it's only one component of our project. But for people that are really interested in a different way of, of education, uh, a holistic approach to education that has taken from all the best alternative education models that we've found out there, as well as common standards like Common Core and things like that that are more traditional standards. But we've looked at Montessori, we've looked at Regio, we looked at Eight Intelligences, we've looked at uh, the Rudolf Steiner method, looked at all these different methods to make it as Bloom's Taxonomy, to make it, to take the best of all those and put together an education program that focuses as much on how to learn as it does on what to learn. And we've already created 52 different lesson plans covering all the subjects, but also built with a theme foundation on things like love and connection or sustainability or open source or the different seasons, summer, fall, winter, you know, and so we've at collaboration and cooperation and honesty, integrity, 
these kinds of things. So we've created lesson plans covering all these because we think that the global, global stewards of the future are children who will be inheriting this planet from us. We think that these are the skills that will benefit them most if they were really to look at our planet and say, how could we create a world that works for everybody? And so right now, we're providing the food, the housing, the infrastructure, and the education models to prepare this next generation to have everything that they need to truly be global stewards and to create paradise on earth, to create a world that works for everybody, to combat desertification, to solve the issue of global food insecurity and hunger and starvation, to address war and poverty, to address social injustice and inequality, all of these things by raising kids that are free thinkers and interested in doing that. Saying, how can we solve the world's problems rather than just living for myself? How can I live for the greater good of everybody? And so for people that are interested in that, and for people like us, that we think is a worthwhile adventure and a worthwhile venture. And so we are an all volunteer nonprofit organization. I'm not paid for anything that I'm doing here, and neither is any of our team. And I've been at this now for nine years, and so is our team. We've had over 300 volunteers work for our project, almost over 400 at this point. We're coming up on 400, at least, I think we're probably at 400 volunteers at this point, all unpaid volunteers working towards this goal of creating self-replicating, sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, and all the tools, tutorials, and resources necessary for replication, construction and replication of everything that we're doing. This is what we're up to, and this is how we're creating global stewards. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards that goal, creating global stewards. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team began building the most sustainable faucets and accessories page. This included updating it to this new link, creating the header and social media images, the what and why sections, and version one of the faucets representing round one of our research. You can see some of this work here. The core team also updated the master image and all the headers and social media images for all the component pages for the Earth Big Village. You can see a few examples of this here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Big Village. Here's weekly update 156 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was more work on the windows, doors, and above door designs. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 48th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was creating another round of additions and updates to the electrical box installation details, wiring specifics, and creating the first version of the final wall assembly to cover all the electrical. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team created all the test color combinations shown here for the sun graphic that we'll be including on the city center library wall and social dome floor. The large one is what we chose. The core team then continued the process of 3D modeling the new Duplical City Center interior design details for the library by modeling and adding this new sun graphic. The core team also created all the images here to clarify the new double sliding glass door entryways so we can update the AutoCAD file with the new designs. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 113th week volunteering by finishing this new set of the library Dialux lighting tests for the new lighting designs. These images are now on the website also. Tanya Griffin, Aubrienne Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Design Pros, completed their 18th week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week's focus was researching alternative column options and additional furniture details for the dining dome and the rug options for the social dome. You can see some of these here on the development storyboards. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her 11th week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was working on assigning layers as SAP 2000 objects in AutoCAD, adding joints and any missing elements that we're not able to import, and cross-checking them to see if all the elements are getting imported. You can see some of this work here. 
Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her 15th week as a researcher with our team. This week, she did deeper research to confirm the details for the sustainable hand dryer options and began formatting her work for the upcoming Most Sustainable Hand Dryer Options page. You can see some of this behind-the-scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open-source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind-the-scenes narrative in the detailed food rollout plan. We continued revising our goat care details by continuing to break down and transcribe the steps of our daily goat routine at Chickawoo Ranch video and added further content to our Google Doc. You can see some of this behind-the-scenes work here. The core team also finalized our open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. This set and the open source downloadable file can now be found in the resources section of the developing permaculture page. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, continued with our third week of updating our business plan and editing related content to simplify several of associated overview pages. This week's focus was rewriting the behind the scenes content for the executive summary page and writing draft one of the social architecture charter, functions and services, operations, marketing plan, and finances sections. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 28th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was creating the campaigns for the sustainable paints, water saving urinals, and temporary kitchen setup ad groups. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating global stewards. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit a written blog. And if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. It will add you to our newsletter list. Of course, if you'd like to help out, we have our helping page and lots of different ways to help out, the easiest of which is to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to join us on social media, or to help us share our information on social media. And we are on all the different social media networks, the biggest ones, to make that as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, and about 15 other social media networks, LinkedIn, of course to make it as easy as possible for you to access our information with the social media network that you like the most and uh, to share our information on whatever social media network you like the most and to make it easy, streamline the process. So that's what we're up to. Thanks for watching till the end. If you're somebody that's donated to our project, as I said before, we're a 100% unpaid team. So 100% of donations go towards forwarding our open source mission. They do not go towards paychecks. For any of us, we're all volunteers. Uh, if you're somebody that's liked or commented on our videos or helped us share stuff, thank you for that. Thanks for watching to the end. And uh, hey, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.